would describe Dr. Hurst as a presence, a, 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 a large presence. He uh, occupied the room uh, when he was uh, with you uh, and uh, uh, was uh, very devoted to education. Uh, something that I certainly uh, remember as a hallmark was his, was his intensity of his devotion to educating residents and students uh, in, uh, in very effective ways. Obviously, he was an outstanding national cardiologist and that reputation and his, his uh, subsequent writings were, uh, 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 are of immense importance. But Dr. Hurst was, uh, was uh, dedicated to excellence, especially in the education arena, as well as the clinical care arena. But Willis was Lyndon Johnson's uh, physician, cardiologist, and uh, they were actually good friends, and he was good friends with Lady Bird, and they're both giant characters and big uh, personalities, of, of course. My first learning about Emory was from my then fiance, who had just finished his training at the University of Chicago and was recruited to Emory uh, to be Chief of Gastroenterology at the Atlanta VA and told me about this school in the South that was recruiting new faculty and would I be interested in trying it out. And I met with Dr. Hurst who had the most amazing image for what Emory would be and could be and essentially enfolded me in his vision of what we were going to do with this wonderful medical school in the South. In any competition, Willis will uh, come out on top about interesting people. He is, was a giant personality. He actually was the savior of the department, if, if not the, the school, because uh, the, Emory had uh, very tough times. Willis had come back from, from Mass General, I think, and was doing private practice and was all of 32 years old and was invited to be chair and was a role model for thousands of people. Dr. Hurst's approach was the quest of excellence, and it was gender neutral. And I think he imparted that to the rest of the faculty, and uh, I became one of the guys. Uh, something that Dr. Hurst was famous throughout the world for was physical diagnosis, especially cardiac. For example, he would go as visiting professor say to Georgetown and they would present him with a patient who was covered with a sheet with everything but his neck veins and Dr. Hurst would look at his neck veins and make the diagnosis merely looking at his neck veins and he was famous for this he went throughout the world doing this he was the greatest cardiological physical diagnostician in the world. I became close with uh, Dr. Hurst and uh, I was kind of in awe of uh, went down. He called me when I first got here and uh, said he wanted to go to lunch and I said, sure, okay. And uh, so we went to lunch, had a good lunch and then going back he said, Wayne, what do you want me to do? I thought about it and then I said, you know what I'd like for you to do? Be Willis. And for 25 years, he was Willis. Willis had a sense of theater, like Lyndon Johnson did, that is inimitable and left an indelible impression. You could ask any medical student Tell me about Willis or Coco, 
or Alexander or Stevens, and they immediately roll out their favorite stories. It's clear that our chairs have had the ability to imprint themselves and their values upon patients and, and students in an incredible way. And we've been so very fortunate in the, the quality, the character, the skills of our chairs.